Hey guys, Prince Medic is here. Do you want to pass by a chemistry like a pro? If yes, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll be telling you how to pass wire chemistry with ease. So stay tuned. Welcome back. There are three sections in wire chemistry. Paper 1, which is the objective. Paper 2, which is the essay or theory. Paper 3, which is the practicals. To pass your wire like a pro or to pass it with ease, you must pass these three sections accordingly. So I'll be dividing this video into three, discussing them by sections. The first is paper one, which is the objective. Usually you're given about 50 questions to answer within maybe an hour and 30 minutes, depending. So I'm meant to answer all of this, and most of the time it carries 15 minutes. So pay attention to this section. There are lots of repeated topics in this section. A lot of topics on the chemistry, periodic tables, separation techniques, and the rest of them. There are lots of them. So get yourself acquainted with this topic. WIAC is already running short of questions. So your ability to master the repeated topics will give you an edge over others. I'll discuss some of them, but for more information concerning the repeated topics, I advise you should visit my videos on the 7 most repeated chemistry topics in ProCTMEs and the 10 most repeated chemistry topics in JAM chemistry. Very, very important. A little addition to what I've just said, you should know the periodic table, you should know separation techniques, you should know acid bases and salt, you should know water, you should know atomic structure and the rest of them. For more information, visit those videos. And then when you're done, answer those questions and leave your answer in the comment section. I'll do well to attend to as many as I can. the paper to otherwise known as a theory. Here are given a number of questions to attempt. This time is not just with options, you are meant to answer extensively. For example, you might be told to define electrolysis. Differentiate between a cathode and an anode. Differentiate between a cation and an anion. You might even be asked to state the Faraday's laws of electrolysis. In addition, you might be told to balance equations. You might as well be told to name organic compounds. So ability to answer these questions and in time will go a long way to help you. So master as many questions as you can. Once you're done doing that, answer the questions on your screen and as well leave your answer in the comment section. The last segment is a practical section, otherwise known as a paper 3. Here you should get acquainted with the practical aspect of chemistry. Know acid bases and salts, how they are formed. You should know the indicators we have and the colors they give out. Methyl orange, litmus paper, phenolphthalein and the rest of them, know their colors. Then you move over to volumetric analysis. This topic for practicals, I can never overemphasize it. You should know qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis and how to identify the endpoint. Very importantly, know the calculations that are associated with this. It will go a long way to save you that day. And another bonus point, practice as many past questions as you can. It goes a long way to help you. Do this and answer the questions in the screen.
thank you for sticking around up until this moment. I believe you got value for your time. Remember, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.